Hey plant gang, I'm in front of a native maple here, Acer saccharinum, the silver maple. Now this plant in years past has been used as a residential tree, in particular in the Great Plains. It's native to the, primarily to the eastern United States. And the reason it had been used in the past as a residential tree is because it grows very quickly. If you needed a tree that grew very fast and gave you shade very quickly, maybe silver maple was a tree that was planted in your yard. Uh, it's got a lot of surface rooting, so it's hard to mow around, uh, and it's got very weak wood, so that has led to it not being as favorable as a street tree anymore. Uh, but it is one that you need to know and one that you should be aware of. Uh, I've got the leaf in front of me. Compared to the sugar maple, which is also, also native to the eastern United States, I would say that the leaves are uh, more deeply lobed and the back side of the leaves have more of a silver character to them. Uh, the bark is a, is a tad more gray and platy, more like an alligator type bark on the back of this tree. Uh, but it is a tree you should know. Uh, it's a tree that is native to the eastern United States and has in the past, but lost favor now as a residential tree. So Acer saccharinum, the silver maple, this is a deciduous tree. All maples have opposite leaf arrangement. It's hardy from zones three through nine. This can get 50 to 80 foot high and spread out from 35 to 70 foot wide. Uh, they're known to have ginormous bar, uh, trunks. They can get quite large, can handle medium to wet sites, even full sun to part shade. Uh, it does have kind of a yellowish fall color uh, that is not overly spectacular for, as maples go, uh, but is tolerable. Here's a landscape tip. Weak wood is a concern, perhaps best sited in areas of poor soil or low wet conditions where other stronger wooded trees will not grow.